Las Vegas is changing so rapidly, I can barely keep up. In a recent video, I went out and explored some new and promising places here on the Strip. There were some hits and some misses, but in my reviews, I made sure to keep it real the whole time. Overall, it's a ton of fun checking out all the new places and activities popping up. I actually have a long list here of new stuff that I want to check out, but there's only so much I can do in one day, especially if eating and drinking is involved. Since you guys seem to like that video too, I figured I'd make this a series and keep showing you everything that's relatively new here. And hopefully this can help you navigate what to do or what to skip on your next trip. I am a huge fan of the south side of the Strip. It honestly might be my favorite part of all of Las Vegas, probably because I was born in the 90s, so I have these faint memories of being in a stroller and kind of experiencing all of the south side's glory, and I never want to see it go away. So I was thrilled to learn about Excalibur doing some renovations and opening up a brand new casino floor bar. I love these types of bars that allow you to basically sit in the center of all the action. I'd compare this one to Centra at Luxor. I'm surprised Excalibur didn't already have a bar like this, but I'm glad they did this because it really opened up the casino floor and made this the focal point. Now, just bear in mind, even though you're at Excalibur, you're still gonna face typical Vegas strip prices. From my experience, the bartenders were awesome and were not shy with their pours. This bar really made Excalibur easier to navigate, and now it feels like the heart of the property. Moving south just off the corner of the 215 and Durango, a swanky new bar has opened up at the Uncommons called Toto Bien. This place is a tiki-style tequilaria serving innovative cocktails made by expert mixologists. So basically, if you're looking for an exceptional margarita or paloma, this is the place to go. It's a very unique place. I've never been anywhere like it in Las Vegas. In fact, it kind of gave me a California vibe, almost like I forgot we were in Vegas to begin with. I went with their classic signature margarita and it was probably one of the best I've ever had. I absolutely love their menu. They have a little agave plant symbol to signify how strong the drinks listed are. They also have options to get bigger versions of their drinks and it displays how many people it serves. Overall, this is a low key awesome place to get really fresh and authentic cocktails with Durango Casino right across the street. Okay, so we have a couple more places to check out and I've saved the best for last.
just got back from the most epic wine bar in Las Vegas. We went to the freshly reopened wine cellar at Rio. They actually just reopened tonight and we happened to be their very first reservation, which I thought was kind of cool. This place has been closed since 2020 and it's so nice to see it open back up. It's been closed four years to this day. They have a vast selection of wines, so we decided to try their Riesling flight along with their Cabernet flight. I was happy to try different wines I've never had before. They also were hosting their own tasting with complimentary wine and small bites, which they plan on doing every other Thursday. Tonight's was wine, but the tastings will vary from wines, tequilas, and whiskeys. You get that traditional rustic cellar feel while being here, which very much adds to the appeal. I'm so happy the Rio is making strides to rebrand themselves to their former selves with the new ownership and renovations. Okay, so in my last video, I showed you guys the revamps they've been doing at Slots of Fun. This time, I went directly into Circus Circus to check out their new ride they've just opened, SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival Ride. This is an interactive dark ride, kind of reminiscent to the dark rides at Disneyland. Now, we grew up watching SpongeBob, so it was nostalgic and entertaining. But if you didn't grow up watching it, or if you don't have kids, this may not be your thing. Unless you just like dark rides, you might enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun, especially after all the wine we had. I also spent a good portion of the time filming the ride, so don't judge my score. <laughs> They have this cute little shop with all the SpongeBob gear you could dream of. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what other spots you want me to check out for the next video. And until next time, bye.